Today is Sunday the 6th of January 2019. This is a video about uh, scanning in Health One 2019. We've made some changes to the scanning uh, in this version of Health One 2298 which uh, hasn't been released generally yet uh, but I'm going to show you the changes now. Scanning in Health One is divided into two things. One is a scan, physical scanning of the paper, which you can do just as an image, or you can do OCR, optical character recognition, whereby you uh, have buy software that interprets the text and you can put the text into Health One. I'm going to show you this. It's been there for a long time. Uh, we've made a few changes there, but the most important change is that you can now uh, back up after you've scanned and not integrate there and then, but integrate later so that you divide up the scanning into scanning the physical paper into the computer using this function and then you can back it up after that and at your leisure integrate it later on. So first of all I'm going to use the text OCR which will call the external software that does the scanning and in our case also the text recognition it's called Reader's Eris 12 so a lot of sites may not have this particular software. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on scan I have to put the paper into the scanner this is the scanning the Epson scanner uh, driver getting ready and when I click on scan my paper will start to be scanned. I have now scanned eight pages, one, two, three, down to eight pages into the computer. I now have to, they're in the memory, I now have to save these files uh, to a given place on the computer that is defined in tools options. So if I have a look at health one, tools, options, scanning, you will see that the external files for TIFF files are opened by this program and saved in Seahorn Win Private. The OCR application, if you have one, is in my case the same. And when you save the files, you have to manually save them to Seahorn Win Private Book. And same with those. And if you save them to there, Health One will see them and will take them. So that's already set up in Health One. So I now go back to my external scanning software. I have everything here. I have to click File, Save All Pages as Image. It might be different with different software, but in Readeris, this is the way you do it. I'm going to save all the pages as one image file, and that image file must be saved as bulky.tiff. Uh, and it's saved in Honwin Private there. After that, it's done. I have to now, if I use the OCR, if I want text out of these files, I have to click on the recognize and save in the readeris. So I'm going to do that. So now readeris is reading every single page here, two, three, four, down to eight, and it's converting all these images into text so that I have both the image and the text. And the text file I'm going to call bulky.rtf, which is a Word document rich text format and I'm going to save it in the same folder as I saved the TIFF file. So I've now two files saved in the folder defined in the scanning options. If we look here you'll see that this is my uh, private folder, one win private and I have two files in there, bulky.tiff here and bulky.rtf there. And when I close out of the software here, health one will open uh, these two files in its own uh, interface. So this is the Health One interface for integrating. So the physical scanning is done and now I'm left with the Health One interface to uh, integrate. So in a busy practice this takes time, this part of it takes time as well, so that you need to be able to take phone calls and do prescriptions and stuff and look into patient files. In this version of Health One, we have made this easy because we have allowed you to minimize the screen at any time you like and go in here and go and see patients and do appointments or whatever else you like. And then when you're finished with that, you can click on window and open it again. So you don't always have to continue later. That's a big improvement in this version of Health One. 
The other thing we have in this version of Health One is a new button here called Backup. So if I didn't have time to integrate these now and I wanted, for example, to do another lot of paper scanning and I could scan all the paper uh, in the one session, if you like, I can just click here and I'll do this now, back up these files. So they're gone. So the files are now backed up. And if I go Tools, Text OCR again, it will again bring up the external software to allow me to scan new files. It won't bring up the old pages because I clicked on Backup. What has actually happened here is that Health One has deleted the two files here and moved them over to this directory, which would be probably a common network directory. And this is this place is stored in Tools, Options, Scanning as well. And it's down here, File Integration, Search for the Files in the Server. So that's where Health One looks for those. If you click on Tools, later on, or somebody at another computer, any computer in the practice, can now uh, integrate these. It doesn't have to be physically done near the, scan, the actual scanner. So you import from files and Health One will give you a list of all the files that uh, are in this folder. And you pick the one, if you haven't already picked it, you pick the one that is relevant. What Health One has done here is it has taken the file bulky.tiff and has renamed it to bulky-2019-0106, which is today's date. And this is the third set of files I have scanned today. So I can, I can double click on that and I can scan all of these. And I can continue later in this slot as well. And as you can see, there's no backup uh, button here because in fact, the, uh, you don't back up, back up from a backup. So you can continue later as you would uh, always, um, or you can just close out of it when you're finished. But it takes the pressure off you having to integrate immediately having scanned the paper. While I am on this screen, I'm going to show you a few things that um, we have improved with this version when you're integrating. First of all, if you choose click here or click over here to find the patient, you can get the patient by uh, typing in the name and you can go over with your arrow key. You can't click on the other ones. We haven't uh, been able to solve that one. And you can type in the year of birth 942 and you just reduce it. Likewise, if you don't have the name, you can just type in the date of birth here without slashes. Now it used to have to put slashes in there. So you can get the patient directly here. So you click on that. Second thing that some people may not know, if you don't have anything highlighted on the left and you click on one of these, you'll get a blank one. So that report, you could type in stuff here or for the date, for example, which is often incorrectly done and hit return and that'll go in there. Or if you highlight nothing over here, you can type, you can type your own stuff into report. Uh, so that is, there, there are two of the new features. When I'm finishing patient, the scanning, I can click on close and I can either continue later with this integration or I can stop the current integration. If I click on this, I normally be finished when you click on this. Health One will move these files from, from the scanning to scanning done so that they're not there the next time you click on tools and import from files. So when they're in there, the reason mine haven't been deleted from here yet is I wasn't finished. Health One will know if you're on the last page and it will move them into done so that you're not presented with a big long list when you click on tools, scanner, import from files, only the ones that haven't been finished will be in here. So to summarize all of this, the existing functionality in Health One for scanning uh, and TIFFs and OCR is the same as it always was. It will open the external software, you will scan the data, and when you're finished scanning, you will be offered the option of uh, integrating now or in the Health One interface. Uh, and that's the end of this video. Thank you very much.